Hey there, thanks for joining me on Chocolate Pitney. If it's your first time, a big hearty welcome. And if it's not your first time, welcome back. I really appreciate your continued support. As you may have seen by the title, I'll be sharing with you five methods that you can use to add beads to your braid. The most important items you'll need are the beads of course and some small elastic bands that will keep the bead on the braid. Before you go ahead and purchase your beads, you ought to be mindful of the size braids you intend to bead. If you get the big beads, they can work on any size braids. However, if you get small beads, they cannot work on big braids or medium sized braids. They'll only work on small braids. So be mindful of the size of your braids when you're going to purchase your beads. Method number one. Take the braid and you fold the end, spin it a little to create a firm tip that will slide through the holes in the beads very easily. And then you're going to stack on all the beads that you desire. When you've reached the desired amount of beads, you're going to pull the last bead down about one or one and a half inch from the tip of the hair. You're gonna fold this tip or wrap it around the bead and grab it together with the braid itself. Then you're going to wrap the rubber band around it to create a tie that will prevent the beads from falling off. Method number two. This is the hair slide or the hairpin method. For this you'll need a hair slide of course. Then you're going to slide the hair between the hair slide Hold the end to keep it in place and then you're going to feed your beads onto the hair slide. When you've reached your desired amount of beads, you're going to hold the top of the hair slide, release the bottom and slide the beads onto the braid. Then you're going to continue by tying the end as we did in the first method. Method number three is the beater method. You're gonna take the beater, hold it upright, and you're gonna feed your beads onto the beater. When you have reached your desired amount of beads, you're gonna take the end of the braid, put it through the loop or the hole in the beater, just about one inch to two inches, and then you're going to slide the beads off the beater and onto the braid, just like this. The next step, of course, is to secure the beads with a rubber band. Method number four is the latch hook method. What you're going to do is feed the beads onto the latch hook. Be mindful of the size of the latch hook and the size of the beads. If I was using small beads, then I wouldn't be able to use this latch hook because the tip is big. Now, after you're done feeding the beads on, you're gonna hook the end of the hair or the braid. You're gonna close the latch hook and then you're going to slide the beads off the latch hook onto the braid and then you're going to secure it with a rubber band of course method number five is the needle and thread method now this method is the quickest one but it's kind of tricky what you need is a weaving needle and a weaving thread that's the one that you use to stitch weave into the hair you're going to string the needle and tie a knot at the end. The thread should be doubled. Now because I'll be feeding the beads onto the thread, I'll need something to prevent them from falling off the thread. So I'm going to use one of these clips or a hair accessory. I'm going to put it through the thread and I'm going to lock it tight so that the beads will not fall off when I put them onto the thread. Now with the help of the needle, I'll be feeding the beads onto the thread. I want all the beads on each braid to be done in the same order. So for this, I'll have yellow, purple, orange, green, blue, and so on. And each time I get to the blue, I'll start over. Yellow, purple, orange, green, blue. Now that I'm done stringing my needle, I'm going to move on to the next step. 
I'm going to remove the clip or the hair accessory from one end because that is the end that I'll be using to bead the hair and I am going to move it to the opposite end. Now that that end is loose, be careful not to lift the thread too high or all the beads will slide off the loose end. So what you're going to do is wrap the thread around the clip or whatever you're using to hold it and then you're going to lift the other side. The next step is to transfer the beads from the thread onto the braid. Now we're going to pretend that this is a big beater and we're going to do the same thing we did with the beater. Pass the tip of the braid through the loop and then we're going to feed the beads onto the braid. I'm just using five beads for each braid so I slip five on but the tricky part to this is not to let go of the thread. Never ever let go of the thread. Because if you do, all the beads will go dancing onto the floor and you'll have to start all over again. So with this method, it goes quickly. You just move from one braid to another. I usually push the beads all the way up to the root of the hair because it usually holds there. If it doesn't hold, I will use a section clip to hold the beads and prevent them from falling back off the, the braids. But this method is quick and I love it. You can go through the entire head doing this. And when you're through transferring all the beads from the thread to the braids, then you can go ahead and secure them with the rubber band. There you have it, five methods that you can use to bead your hair. If you've learned anything from this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, you can do so now. I post a new video every week. Thanks again for watching. Bye.